Every year on my birthday, I make a list of goals to accomplish for the next year, and it lines up with the age I'm about to turn. So I just turned 32, and here is my 33 before I turn 33 list. This is something I've been doing for about the last nine years, and I find it super helpful to have like a concrete list of goals to aim for for each year. So my first five goals fall under the category of health. So I've got you know eating less than 500 items of junk food, um, 2,000 servings of vegetables, 750 servings of fruit, eight weeks of meditation, and one week wearing a continuous glucose monitor. So eating healthy is something I've struggled with probably my entire life. Um, you will know it by looking at me because I'm pretty skinny, but yeah, I tend to eat a lot of junk food. So eliminating junk food and replacing it with healthy foods would be a significant change in my life and especially in my long-term health. The next four goals fall under the category of fitness. So I'd like to qualify for the Boston Marathon. Um, in order to do that, I have the goal of exercising 750 hours. I also have a goal of getting jacked, which is an eight week muscle build routine. And then goal number nine is the KT challenge uh, with my buddy, Zach, Zed Weblog. Um, it is a running challenge. It's kind of an interesting one where every run is one mile further than the previous run. I tend to have these really ambitious fitness goals every year, like qualifying for the Ironman World Championships and also running a Boston Marathon qualifying time. And I've never come close um, I think getting that 750 hours of exercise in, goal number seven is the keystone habit to make all the other fitness goals possible. The next two goals fall under Lethal Engineering and Lethal Try. Lethal Try is the name of the channel you're watching this on, and I also have another YouTube channel called Lethal Engineering where I do kind of more uh, videos about things I build and create. So I'd like to create 12 videos total between those two channels. And then goal number 11 is to finished building R2-D2. So I built the dome for R2-D2 uh, about three years ago now, I think, two or three years ago now. So I'd like to finish the, uh, you know, the rest of them. Goals 12 through 18 fall under the category of business and productivity. Goal number 12, I'd like to get $1 million of revenue for our business, which is about $200,000 more than we did the previous 12 months. I'd also like to set up a simple IRA, like a retirement plan for my employees. Uh, number 14 is to get 10 hours of productive time for 200 days, which would significantly help with all of the other goals. And then number 15 is 200 days of no news, TV, YouTube, social media, which again would significantly help with all of the other goals. Goal number 16 is 48 weeks of a commitment contract. That's where I send a list of goals at the beginning of every week to my mother-in-law, and there are financial penalties if I don't meet those goals by the end of the week. Goal number 17 is to acquire a second railroad. So my business is railroad engineering design, and we currently only contract for one railroad. So getting a second railroad would you know, help grow the business. And then goal number 18 is to develop a formal training plan processes, job aids, metrics, objectives, and incentives for my employees. So as we continue to grow, there's some sort of training process and kind of you know, formalized thing of you know, what our expectations are, and then also um, to just increase their knowledge. The next category is learning, and there are four different topics I'd like to learn more about. Um, those are Python, machine vision, 3D modeling with Fusion 360, and then physics through Khan Academy. The goal is to you know, complete some sort of book or course in each of those subjects, and then also complete some sort of project at the end to demonstrate competence. The final category is other, and there are 11 goals in this category just anything that didn't fit in any of the other categories. These are supposed to be sometimes more fun or more random type of goals. So I'd like to win a 100,000 ticket prize at Dave & Buster's. I love arcade games. Mountain bike 25 miles. Um, learning to mountain bike is something I've always wanted to do, but it kind of terrifies me because my bike handling skills are god awful. Donate 10% of income post-tax to charity. This is probably the most significant of all my goals in terms of the impact it has by, by donating to the world's most effective charities. Solve the world's largest Rubik's Cube. Let me show you it. I got it right here. I bought this big bad boy and I managed to mix it up, but uh, now I need to solve it. Number 27 is to get my pilot's license. So yeah, learn how to fly airplanes so that I can fly to and from um, our hometown of Omaha, Nebraska. Get another tattoo. I currently have uh, one right here on my chest, but I'd really like to get one, like a really obnoxious sleeve tattoo is my idea. But uh, I think that'll take a lot more courage than I currently have. 
Goal number 30 and 31 are concern my house, so I'd like to fix up the yard and landscaping. So our yard has a lot of like patchy spots in it and kind of tree branches falling down and it just really needs some work done on it. And then I'd also like to clean up and fix up our house like we're getting ready to sell. I figure if in two years or whenever we're gonna actually end up selling this house, we might as well make the improvements that we would make then to sell it now so that we can enjoy them while we live here. Number 32 is to read to my son for 10 minutes a day for 300 days. My son was born last year and this is the only goal I have on here related to him. And the final goal, goal number 33, is a surprise goal from my friends Zach and Katie. Zach actually started making his own goal list about two or three years ago. I've known Zach since elementary school and I've known Katie since high school. They're married now. I'm confident they could come up with a goal that I would not usually try myself. So I'm actually filming this video in February. Uh, my birthday was in on June 25th. So almost seven months later I'm filming this since I've made this list. So I can tell you some of these goals I've already failed spectacular yet and have no chance of achieving. Um, and some of these goals I've already accomplished. But I wanted to make this video to tell you what all of the goals were. Um, so as I start making other videos telling you about the goals I've accomplished and the process of achieving those goals, um, you can know where I started, you know, what, what, what the aim was um, seven months ago at, for, since my birthday. So thanks for watching. If you want to follow along as I try to pursue a variety of different things, then uh, please subscribe. All right. Take it easy.